Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Yasmin here. Today you're in for a phenomenal treat as always. I am sharing with you this fantastic recipe for these turkey meatballs. That's right. They're turkey meatball. They're very small. Uh, they're very easy to pull together. An abundance of amazing flavor. So stick around long enough and I'll show you how to make them. While you stick around, if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, go right ahead and don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. I love to hear your comments and share uh, the video recipe as well. Okay, I'm using two pounds of ground turkey, uh, one pound of white meat, one pound of dark meat. You could go all white or all dark if you prefer. I'm using uh, corn, this is fresh corn that I took the cornels off of it. I'm going to use about a cup or so. Onion, this is about a half a cup. You could use a little bit less if you like. Cilantro, quarter cup. The oregano is uh, one tablespoon. I'm using one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves as well. About two teaspoons of ginger. Two teaspoons of fresh garlic. This is optional. It's about half a teaspoon of pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. I'm using uh, salt as well as fresh ground black pepper. It's half a teaspoon. Uh, fresh black pepper and uh, about one teaspoon salt. You can reduce the salt. We're using um, soy sauce in here, uh, so that has salt as well that you have to take into consideration. I'm adding olive oil. This is about two tablespoons to add back some good fat. For more flavor, I'm adding sesame oil. This is about uh, two teaspoons. This is miso paste. It's the um, the easy quick paste. This is not those parma paste paste that you have to dilute. This is about two taste two teaspoons soy sauce. This is about uh, one tablespoon, but you can add uh, more or less if you prefer. Just watch the salt when you do that. Okay, I'm just mixing everything together. Well, you could use a spoon or a spatula to do this. I like to use my hands because I find that it incorporates uh, the ingredients much, much better. Okay guys, so I've washed my hands. Uh, the turkey meatballs are all seasoned and now what I really want to do is just cover it and let it sit in the refrigerator for a few minutes. I would say maybe 15-20 minutes is going to allow you um, me to form the meatballs a lot easier. Okay, beautiful people, while the uh, meat is sitting in the refrigerator for a little bit, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, dressing that I will be using in the salad. It's quite easy. I have all my ingredients prepped here. Okay, to get started, I have a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. I am going to add in my uh, ginger. I would say this is about a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of fresh grated garlic. I'm going to add in my miso. This is not the concentrated type. Uh, this is about a teaspoon of honey. I'm going to add in my cilantro and thyme. It's about one teaspoon of cilantro, one teaspoon of thyme. At this point, I'm going to add in my salt and pepper. And what I'm doing is just mixing it all together at the same time. And then I'm going to add in about one 
two tablespoons of finely diced red onion. All right, and I need to get my sesame oil, one teaspoon of sesame oil. The flavor of se sesame oil is very strong. What I want to do is slowly whisk in my avocado oil. Okay, so I really want to emulsify it, so I'm going to keep whisking until it's nice and creamy. And then I like to taste as usual. A little bit more salt, so it makes a huge difference. I think it's perfect now. This is ready, so now I'm going to go take a look at the meatballs to form them. Okay guys, so I have the meat that has been sitting in the refrigerator, a spoon that I'm going to be using to help me uh, take it out of the bowl. I do have some warm water that I like to wash my hands in occasionally as I'm doing it because your hands will still get sticky. I have a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And I also have the oven on at 425 degrees. Maybe about that much, I would say. I want them small just because I'm going to be putting actually half of this into the salad that I'm making and then the other half tomorrow I'm making miso soup with meatballs so I'm going to be using that. That's that nice as even as you can and you, if you put too much water it won't uh, make a bowl and you do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know the first time I made these meatballs were really poor the miso soup. My husband enjoyed it a lot, uh, so now I use it in salads as well. Okay, beautiful people, the meatballs are all shaped. What I have here is some avocado oil, and I usually like to brush it on the top. You don't have to worry about the bottom as much. A light brushing of the oil will help it to uh, develop a little bit of color because these cook very, very fast. Okay, so this is ready for the oven. Let's start uh, cooking in the oven. I'm going to prepare the salad ingredients. I have two peppers here, one red, one yellow, or maybe this is orange, I don't know. I'm colorblind. Um, and then I have a golden um, delicious apple here, but you could use whatever type of apple uh, you like. I have some tomatoes. So the first thing I really want to do is get the apples uh, done. You could pour it if you want, but I just cut it in four. Just take this off carefully. And then I'm basically, basically going to dice these. The nice thing about having a garbage can right here, I'm going to cut it in about three strips and then dice. Get that into a big bowl. Big or small, you cut it. You just want it in bite sized pieces. The thing with apple is that it uh, could oxidize, which means it gets brown. So I'm going to add a little bit of that salad dressing right away. You want to give the salad dressing a stir because as much as you emulsi emulsify dressing, it does uh, uh, settle, the oil rises to the top. Just toss that. Next up is I'm going to cut the peppers and I always find it easy to start here. There's many ways you could cut the pepper, but I am trying to avoid getting as much of those seeds away from it. So it's easier for me to um, 
dice, I suppose. Like this, you could try to get some of it out. I'm going to do the same thing with the red pepper. Once you get one side off, you're able to do the rest of it very easily. Okay. Just bite size pieces. Get that in the bowl. Wow, that is really sweet. I can smell those meatballs. Oh my god. And then I have my tomatoes. These are wild uh, tomatoes. They're mixed colors. You have these orangey color and the red. And then you have some that are a little bit darker. I love these. I always find them to be very sweet. These, I'm just going to slice it. I have this um, serrated knife that works beautifully for the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm going to get it all in my bowl here. A lot of tomatoes. And then I have a little bit of corn that was left over from uh, the uh, meatballs that I didn't put in the noodles. And I have a little bit of diced onions, either very small, but I just added in here. Why not? Okay, beautiful people, what I want to do with all of the uh, veggies that I just added in here with the apples. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of the um, vinaigrette. Give it a little mix. Usually, if I'm not serving the uh, salad right away, I do this step and then I uh, let it sit and get marinated because I don't like to put the greens in it uh, right away until I'm ready to serve it because the greens get very wilted. Today's uh, greens, I'm using arugula. It's one of my favorites. I mean, I say that practical about every greens that I eat. So I have about a good uh, cup and a half of arugula. And then I have spinach. Okay, I'm gonna add one, two. You could add as much or as little as you like. You usually don't want to overdo it though. You just give it a nice sauce. How beautiful is that? that. I think I need to take the temperature on these. I'm going to find one of the bigger ones. Oh yeah, these are, these are done. Okay, beautiful people. It's my favorite time of the day. Tasting. We taste it salad first with that beautiful dressing it's amazing wow the meatball you can cut right through it wow that was a big piece of meatball as small as they are it's absolutely delicious all of that beautiful herb flavor a little bit of the hint of the ginger the garlic it's just amazing you have to try it so I do hope you enjoyed seeing how I make this fabulous meatball, super tasty. Until next time, happy cooking!